Welcome back to another episode of RimWorld, you fucking nitwits. This episode, we're gonna be taking over the settlement. Shut up! God damn it, Tortellini, get out of here. This, no, this this is my game, not yours. Alright, anyway, welcome back to another episode of RimWorld, guys. So, um, it's actually been quite a while, <laughs> once again. God damn, this is turning into a trend. Every single RimWorld video, I, I say something along those lines. Where it's been a while, because usually it has been. Usually it's been like a week and a half since I've played RimWorld, but anyway, so we are back, um, let's see here, yeah, we got annihilated, we're trying to recover after the annihilation, good thing we got Enrique, Krisu, Gooch, and Stugan here, um, I'm still trying to figure out who to name this person after, I haven't decided yet, I mean, I could do that this video, but I don't know, I guess, maybe, maybe, maybe next video, yeah, next video I'll go and find someone who's commented on a video, and I will, uh, stick them into the game, but anyway, um, so Gooch and Stugan are very upset, which, you know, I can understand. They're both un upset that so much shit has happened, and they also slept in the cold. What do you mean slept in the cold? It's 72 degrees out, in and outside. Like, what? How, how is that in the cold? What? Whatever. Oh, God. <laughs> Our fucking hospital's trashed. <laughs> oh, no. We should probably put lights in there, actually. I've actually been messing around with dev mode a lot, and it's interesting. It's very interesting. If anyone can point me in the direction of how to, like, spawn specific factions and specific locations with the dev mode thing, please let me know. And if there isn't, if, if there's a mod or something out there that lets me do that stuff, please let me know because that would be amazing. If I can get specific factions to spawn at specific locations, that would be a lifesaver. But anyway, I, I would be using that for probably like RimWorld Wars or something like that. But hopefully something out there does that because that would be so nice. Holy shit. And Stugan's gone berserk. Oh, God. Okay. Um, I'm going to get everyone inside. Everyone get inside. Get inside. Go, go, go. No, go, Gooch. Are you having a mental break too? Oh, shit. You're going berserk. Aren't you going to attack people? They're like, what are you doing? Oh, God. What is, what is he? I don't know. Oh no, now he's hitting the cat. Okay, no, 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 <laughs> I don't know if I should stop. Alright, stop, stop. You don't need to do that. Just let let him be for now. We, we beat the shit out of him. <laughs> It'd be fine. It'd be fine. <laughs> Believe me. It'd be okay. It appears the um, gods in RimWorld are very angry with me, and they're just putting down a flash storm on my ass. They're just like, yeah, let's just burn all of the vegetation that Dylan could use to survive right now. All of it. Just leave none of it behind. Let's just do it that way, huh? Right, guys? Yeah, that's the best way to fucking do it. Poor Cash, man. He's he's so hurt. He just got... I don't know. I, I just feel so bad for him. Stugan, are you okay? You're, you're all... Yeah, he's all patched up. Cool. Enrique, how are you doing? Did you get patched up? Yeah, kind of. All right. Yeah, so we're, we're good. Yeah, see, this is, this is the type of thing I was talking about. It's just going to torch the entire fucking forest. Oh, my God. <laughs> Oh god, and the fire has finally reached our boundaries. Oh, but the rain started. Look at that! Hell yeah! <laughs> See? The rain naturally came in and just put it out. Because there's so much of it going on. But anyway, yeah, we lost this entire section of the... Fuck. All, all the, all the, all the, all the food is gone. Bob, Bob. What? What is it, Billy? Our food's gone. Oh, shit. Hey, we got some visitors. Maybe they can help us out. Um, let's, who, who's got our best social skill? Looks like Stugan. All right, Stugan, get out there. Trade on them. So let's see, we have 1,200. We could buy another black bear to replace Paul. Let's see here. We could, I guess we could just buy clothes. I mean, there's no real harm in that. There, it's expensive though. Holy shit. Just fuck it. Cool. So we got a cloth poncho. I wonder if Enrico will wear that, but let's, let's haul it and maybe he'll put it on. Maybe he won't. I do not know. And Enrique put it on. <laughs> what a man. What a fucking man. Hey, they left us a gift. How fucking nice. They didn't need to do that. There's also a machine pistol here, too, that we didn't pick up. Anyway, um, I'm thinking I'm going to actually name a 
person in the game actually for Enrique right now because I feel like it. So hold up. All right, drum roll. I have picked someone. It was just the first person I saw. And welcome, Omega, to the video crew. Welcome, Omega. Congratulations. Thank you for um, subscribing and thank you for commenting. Thank you for all the support. Thank you everyone for support, actually. Honestly, it, it means a shit ton. I actually haven't been too upfront with you guys about like pretty much anything, actually. Cause I don't know, I don't know. I just I, I have no excuses. I haven't been too much upfront about anything. So I, I I don't really know how to express all this to you guys, but thank you so much for everything. It means the world to me. You guys, honestly, you guys are amazing. Thank you so much. All the, I love responding to comments and shit. You guys, you guys are hilarious. Even if you like to fuck with me all the time. Especially the Discord crew. <laughs> the Discord crew. Oh, God. Yeah, if you guys want to... If you, if you want me to get to know you, I, w I want to get to know you guys. I mean, it would be great if you guys all joined the Discord. I mean, you can join the Discord just by going into the the um, description of each video. And there's like a little link that you just click on and boom, you're in the Discord. It's a good time. It's a very good time. And we we would definitely love to have more people in there. I mean, we have some we have a good amount of people in there right now. Actually, more than I thought that I would ever have in there, to be honest with you. Because originally, I didn't want to do it. But I, I did it because that's what the community wanted at the time. So I, that's, that's what we did. And it, it works out. I, I talk in it every day. I, I talk in it all the time. People talk in it all the time. It's such a good time. People in there are so funny. They're awesome. Oh, man. If you have memes you want to dump in there, we have a meme chat and shit. You put whatever you want in there. There's no restrictions because I'm a cool guy like that and I don't really give a shit. But yeah, anyway, please, please join the Discord. And thank you guys so much for everything you guys have done for this channel and for me in general. Because it's, it's mind-boggling. I, I, don't, I don't know. I, I really... Like 1.6 thousand subscribers is way more than anything I would have ever asked for. I, I don't know how to... It's, <laughs> it's hard, okay? <laughs> I don't know, okay, guys? As some of you may know, um, I used to do a lot of streaming over the summer, and then once college hit, I couldn't do that anymore. Um, so this next, this upcoming summer, you can definitely expect streams from me. I will try to do two streams a week. Try to, because I'll be working like a full-time job, more than likely, in a deli. So like, yeah, it, it'll be about probably hopefully two times a week. Um, They'll probably be at 10 p.m. Central Time, which I don't know what that is in any other time. But yeah, it's 10 p.m. Central Time usually. That's when I start streaming. And then we end at like 1 a.m. Central Time. So yeah, we stream for a decent amount of time. And usually it's RimWorld, but it depends how it goes. So we might do other games. It's up to you guys, really. It's really up to you guys. Like, I don't really care. I'll, I'll play whatever for the most part. But yeah, like the only game that... I really don't really want to play on stream is probably oxygen not included, but that's about it. That's just because it's so much just sitting around and doing nothing. I don't like I don't like that. There's not really really much of a story to it. I like stuff that like you can like interact with like your audience with and play the game at the same time. I, I like those kinds of games. So this is not very good. We um, actually no no one's planting anything. There's absolutely no one growing anything. So we should like raise everyone up. A notch for the most part maybe everyone up goes up to two growing maybe that'll help because there's really we need to get some people growing stuff people need to start planting shit otherwise we're gonna run out of food and that's not oh come on dude stop what the fuck oh my god at least she's planting rice okay good and as for this i mean the poncho should increase your thing enough i don't know oh good god it yeah, none of you guys are going to like this. The, the, oh, shit. If we had the freezer up and running, that'd be much easier, but we don't actually have any more components. Um, Oh, he's getting them right now. Hold up. Get the, get this freezer up and going. Go. Do that. Quick. Quick, 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 quick. Go, 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 go. If we can get this freezer up and going, then we will be good to go. Because we can easily survive. Alright, come on. Someone's got to build that, though. Like, someone build it. No, no, stop. Build that. Stugan, you piece of shit. Thank you. All right. <laughs> oh my God, nothing wants us to fucking live. Now there's a solar flare turning off all of our electrical devices, which means our fucking cooler's not gonna work, which was our only source of fucking coolness in our entire colony. Uh, 
Anyway, it, it, it appears that um, we're going to end the episode here. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you in the next episode. Bye. I'm out of my head, on my head.